Hey guys, Joe Mitchell and Josh Adakaria. Um, I'm a proud Birupo man, uh, you know, from Taree. Mother's Radjuri country from Mount Borellan, Hilston Way. Um, yeah, culture to me um, means so much. Obviously, there's a connection, you know, with the land, the country that we live on, and and obviously our, um, you know, our totems. And you know, for me, it's um, getting back on land, on a country, and just. Um, you know, really getting in amongst my community and, and enjoying, you know, what we used to do, you know, as a people. And obviously now we're the modern day black fella. Um, you know, we get to do, you know, things that our elders have set up for, you know, stepping stones to, you know, get us to where we are today, to be able to live our lives and live our dreams out. And, um, yeah, what do you reckon, bro? Hey guys, uh, your boy Josh had a car here. Uh, I'm a proud Radri man and I can get you, man. Uh, my mum's from Wellington, New South Wales, and my dad's from um, Cairns, Yarraba, up uh, North Queensland. Uh, what it means to me uh, to be Indigenous um, gives a, gives me a sense of belonging. Um, yeah, when I, whenever I go back home, I've always got that connection. I um, always love listening to stories uh, from the elders and um, 
And yeah, I just think, um, you know, if, if, it was, if it wasn't for being Indigenous, I wouldn't have met this father next to me too. So, um, yeah, it's special. I love it. So happy NAIDOC, your mob. Hope you enjoy your week. Uh, just remember, stay in school, work hard, you can know, achieve your dreams. You know, you can be what we're doing here today and be whatever you want, just as long as you work hard and um, stay on track and have good people around you. Stay deadly, 50 in the house. Bam. Hey guys, it's Josh Kerr here from the St. George Dragons. I'm a proud Kwandamooka man from Stradbroke Island. I just want to get on here and talk about how much NADOC Week uh, means to me and, you know, it means the world, you know, it, um, it's obviously, it's unreal for my family and, you know, we get to showcase our, our culture to everyone. We get to help educate everyone and, you know, we get to look back on the past and we get to hopefully use that to help fix our future and, um, yeah, it's just a great week to showcase our, our culture, spread love, spread healing and help educate people. So it's obviously a great week, not only for myself, but my family and hopefully for all you too. Hey, you all. Eric Peter from the Canal Sharks. Proud Wiradjuri man. Nadok uh, week for me is to, um, you know, acknowledge and share our stories and share the stories of our ancestors um, on, our, on our traditional land. Hey, guys. Jamal Fogarty here from the Gold Coast Titans. I just want to wish everyone a happy Nadok. I hope you are out there representing our people, our colours and our culture, making sure, you know, we, we're displaying our rich history and our, and our culture with pride and um, making sure we're rep representing ourselves and our communities and where we come from. I'm a proud Mananjali man. I come from Badezit. Um Back home, you know, our culture is very strong. Um, we learn at a young age um, about our history and about our culture where we used to paint ourselves up and do performances for special days like NAIDOC week events, um, Australia Day at our primary schools and other events as well. So to me, um, to be Indigenous, um, you know, it, it's, it's awesome. It's who I am. It tells me where I come from. It tells me where my bloodlines come from and, and all the past history um, that our ancestors and elders um, went through, but they also paved the way um, for us to live the life we do today and, and they showed how strong we are, how resilient we are and what type of people we are. So hopefully um, you guys can um, embrace your culture. Um, don't be ashamed to be who you are and don't be ashamed to be Aboriginal. You know, we're very proud people. So just put a smile on your face, um, represent who you are, no matter where you come from, no matter where you go. Always represent and be proud of who you are, and I'm sure you'll go a long way in life. So, from me to you, happy NADOC. I hope you have a great week. Thanks, guys. Next up, I'd like to invite John to the stage to speak about the design tracks program. Last year, I had the privilege to be involved in the design tracks program. Um, and it was six of my fellow fossil students. Through paper, pigment, and poetry, we explored our connection to country and created our own. This was combined with the work of other Indigenous students from across Queensland to create a collaborative, collaborative piece representing last year's theme, Always Was, Always Will Be. In March this year, Cody, Ethan, Bruce, Gary, and I are for us to be chosen to record the voice of the Divine Life and Mission. Today we have started to finally share our work with the recently released animation to celebrate the end of the year.
listen, life around you. Light illuminates nature's beauty. Sun rises, rivers and seas flow. The breeze blows around the land. Spring brings life, a fresh change. Rest is gone, footsteps remain. Raindrops on earth, the land emerges. Immerse yourself into the path of beauty. A strong tree, warming hearts deeply with love. Light the leaves like kindling and listen in life for the roaring of a kindred spirit. I'm slowly recovering from my water. I'm slowly recovering from my power. I'm always with my soul. I'm always with you. Hopes to the sun always rising and faith to the gentle leaves grow. Questions to the island as normal and protection from the elders themselves. Love knowing will be protected as the moon will rise again. Rise, sing, see, river. Listen to our past. Protect our future. Protect our future. Always was. Always will be.
But before he can return, Johnny learns of that dirty crown and views of human people being the traditional owners about the darkness that swept over the land in the 1850s and of the silence that followed. Johnny began to understand the meaning of the words always was, always will be. And so, over a week ago, on the 5th of July, Johnny and a grown band of volunteers left Brisbane and have started walking the stone 500 kilometers back to country and especially built hand car. The, walk, the walkers will push the star across the trails and back roads of Tarabo, Yagara, Jinnabara, Gabi Gabi, Waka Waka, Wuli Wuli, and Yemen country. On the morning of the 25th of July, my family and I will walk five kilometers shoulder to shoulder with our Yemen elders, community, and volunteers into Tiru for the start of the coming and of the opening of Wanagari Keeping Place, its new home and final resting place. In walking the star of Tiru back to country, we hope to shine a light on the importance of returning cultural heritage to country. And this is made of the thing of healing country. I encourage all students and their families to support Bangman and his family as they return to the star of Tarawa, to my native country. A link will be provided on the school Facebook page if you would like to make a donation to show your support and help to heal country. Next, I would like to invite Miss Amor to the stage to speak about the importance of better food, celebrating diversity and supporting inclusive inclusivity with our words and actions. I too wish to pay respects to the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet on today and respects to our elders past, present and emerging and those Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island who join us today. Today is a very special day for our community, for our country. And it's a very important moment where we get to celebrate the rich history and diverse cultures and achievements of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders as the oldest continuing culture on the planet. So recently we've seen some amazing achievements of Aboriginal and or Torres Strait Islander people across the world. We could be talking about the achievements this week of Ash Party, of the achievements of the Kid Leroy, Jessica Nowboy, David Fafita, and over time Jonathan Sernston and others. I too would like to acknowledge though the rich passions and achievements of the students who stood before you today. Students like Balin, Jai, Talia, Lily, Texas, Levi, Kevin, and the students that were involved in design tracks and also posted um, thank Ms. Zinia Lubici as well for her achievements today. I believe what I read and saw in our design tracks, images before, that we need to listen to our past and protect our future, and that it always was and always will be. This year, the theme of Hill Country, the aim is to have greater protection for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander lands and people, and I pay my respects on behalf of the students and the community of Oxford State Secondary College. Thank you. 